If Roman Harper and Jamon Bushrod are stressed about their current free agent limbo status, there we go, bus. You sure couldn't tell. <laughs> After another workout with teammates at Tulane University, the two competed in a celebrity golf challenge at Cypress Lakes Country Club at Ormond on Tuesday. Both are unsigned free agents, but both continue to keep it all in stride. Well, you know, you have to. That's just a, you know, situation that's at hand right now. We got to do our best to uh, let the people who know what they're doing, work at this whole situation, and we can just control the things that we can control, which is, you know, working out, getting back together with the team, and just, you know, having Not that bad, mindset boy. of getting ready for training camp. What do you guys gain as a team working out together at Tulane, Roman? You know, a little bit of camaraderie, you know, seeing the guys, making sure everybody's, you know, there, uh, held, holding each other accountable. Uh, you know, it's always better when you got your, your teammate right there next to you, and uh, he knows you're in there working just as hard as he is, and, uh, and then it's going to be the same way during the season. You know, that's how you depend on guys. That's how you come together as a team and as a unit and uh, everybody trusts each other and you know all 11 got to have the same heartbeat to make it go and uh, I think that's what we're trying to work on right now and uh, I think we're on a good good pace for that. The workouts are going great you know we pretty much I mean we're out there working hard we're doing football related stuff you know we're getting after we're competing against each other so uh, the workouts are good we're getting great work in um, as far as conditioning and strength you know we're going to be you know where we need to be uh, there's going to be no uh, no falling off with us and you know, we just have our eyes on the prize just to continue to get better. It's all about winning games and getting back out there and trying to play football. That's all it's about. And when that might be anybody's guess. In your mind, when do you think that this thing is going to end? You know what? Um, I have no idea, man. Maybe June, July. You know, you, you know, the only thing you can only know about is the next court date is on June 6th. And uh, looking forward to that date. Then I guess we'll get some more information from there. Key information for both Harper and Bushrod, will they be restricted or unrestricted free agents? Neither player is signed now. Harper a five-year NFL vet, Bushrod four. And he admits his limbo status enters his mindset. Well, it does, but, you know, you really can't let it stress you out too much because it can definitely, you know, kind of keep you awake at night. But you just got to, like I was saying earlier, you, you have to control the things that you can control, which is... Being in shape, getting stronger, getting, you know, just yeah, being more football ready. More. You can't control it. It's uh, totally out of your uh, out of your hands right now. And just the uh, only thing I can control is, you know, getting in shape, just like Bushrod said, preparing myself mentally and physically for another long, another grinding season, and uh, just trying to be the best player I can. And uh, I'm going to continue to do that, and, uh, up, and that's the only thing I'm worried about. In the meantime, the workouts continue at Tulane. And although not exactly what Houdat Nation has in mind, the games go on. To to find out who won the Bushrod versus Harper showdown on the golf course, tune in to Richie on Sports, 6 p.m. this Thursday, right here on CST.